Magaz a belle, Magaz a belle, He's a shelter in a time of Magaz a belle, Magaz a belle. Song. Oh, fix me, Jesus, fix me, oh yeah, fix me if you please, if you can't fix me, standing up, well I fall down on my knee, my God's a better land. Cause a better land. My God's a better land. Oh, he's a shelter in a time of a storm. Well, I came to Jesus yet. As I was, I was weary, worn and sad. Oh, yeah. So Shelter in a time of a storm. Amen. God is a battle axe. Hey, we want to say good morning to each and every one of you and welcome to our fam friends and family day, or family and friends day. Yeah. I know all y'all probably had a good Thanksgiving and hopefully yours was better than mine. And I had a good one, so that means yours was great. But anyway, we're going to start our devotional service. But you know, uh, I was wa watching TV the other day, and they was talking about Friday, Black Friday or whatever, and then getting all the news out, and, you know, come shop and do this. I, I, I had an epiphany. I thought, you know, Jeremiah, in, I think around chapter 20, around verse 12, 13, he said, you know, I did all of this. I've been through all of this. I tell the, told the king and prophesied it. They didn't believe me. He said, you know. I've gotten to the point. He said, I ain't going to speak of Jesus' name no more. He said, but he said, then it was like fire shut up in my bones. He said, I couldn't hold my peace. So he said, I had to say something. So, so as believers, we have a story to tell. So uh, I'm going to try and sing this song. I want y'all to help me. And they say, I said I wasn't going to tell nobody. But I couldn't keep it to myself. And hopefully y'all feel the same way about the word of God. I said I wasn't going to tell nobody, but I. I said I. I said I. I said I wasn't going to tell nobody, but I. Keep it to myself what the Lord had done for me. He gave me love from heaven above, but I couldn't keep it to myself. I said I couldn't keep it to myself. I said I couldn't keep it to myself. He gave me love from heaven above, but I couldn't keep it to myself. But the Lord had done for me. He gave me grace to run this race, and I couldn't keep it to myself, oh, I couldn't keep it to myself. 
said, oh, I could keep it to myself. He gave me grace to run this race, but I couldn't keep it to myself. Oh, I has done for me. He saved my soul. Made me hope, but I couldn't keep it to myself. I said I couldn't keep it to myself. No, I couldn't keep it to myself. He saved my soul and made me hope, but I couldn't keep it to myself. What the Lord has done for me. All of that for us, y'all. Amen. Amen. He gave us love from heaven above. Because the scripture said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that who shall ever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. He gave us grace to run this race. Yes. Paul, the scripture said, but they went, Paul went to him three times. And he said, My grace is sufficient for any challenge we got. God's grace will get us through it. And he said he saved my soul and made me whole. And the scripture says, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Amen. We're going to continue, y'all. Right. The hymn writers say, amazing grace, yeah. how sweet the sound right. that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. T'was grace that taught my heart to tear, and grace my soul relieved. How happy did that grace appear, the hour I first believed. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. That say, Amen. Oh, I, I once was lost, but now I'm fine, was blind, but now I see. I was but now I'm fine. Was blind, but now I see. Grace that taught my heart to fear and grace my soul relieved. T'was grace that taught my heart to fear. And grace, my dream. How precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed. How precious. The hour I first be our Father, of which art in heaven, hallowed be thy holy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Uh, give us uh, this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debt as we forgive the debt of others. Once again, oh God, we Praise come. And Lord, we just want to tell you thank you. Praise Father, we want to thank you God. for your goodness. And we thank you for your mercy. Praise we thank you, oh God, for this loving us yes, in spite of yes. all our shortcomings. Mm -hmm. We give praises to you, Father, because of who you are. Mm -hmm. You are God and you are God all by yourself. We thank you for allowing Jesus to come, oh God. We thank him for being obedient to the calling, oh God, and giving his life, oh God that those that believe in him will have the opportunity to life eternal. 
Oh God, we just ask that you please forgive us for our sins. Have mercy upon our nation, the people of God, understanding, Father, we all have sinned and came short of your glory. But do you do it say in your word that if we confess our sins, that you are faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Oh God, our nation need a cleansing today. Our city need a cleansing today. New Providence need a cleansing today. Each and every one of us need a cleansing today. Cleanse us right now, Lord, as only you can. Touch us in a way, oh God, that we will feel anew, oh God. Now, Father, we ask that you bless, Father, our nation as a whole. Bless the leadership of this nation. Continue to bless each of us according to our need. We have those that are sick, those that are shut in. We have the hunger, we have the homeless. We have motherless and fatherless children. We have widows and we have orphans. We have the struggling single parent, oh God. Touch them in a mighty, mighty way. We have those behind the prison walls, oh God. We have those, oh God, that are bereaved right now. But Father, you are our comforter, oh God. You are our healer, oh God. You are our way maker, oh God. All we need is you, Father. So we welcome you. We solicit you to be a part of us. Lead us and guide us in the way that you would have us to go. Oh God, we ask that you bless the one that's going to share the word with us today. Continue to allow the word to come to us, oh God. We receive it. Allow it to lead us in a life that is pleasing to you. And then go out and share it with men, women, boys, and girls. That the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Now, Lord, we ask that you bless everyone under the sign of my voice right now, oh God. Touch them in a mighty, mighty way, oh God. As only you can, Father. Guide us in looking to you from which cometh our help, oh God. For all our help comes from you. For you're the one that created the heavens and earth. Oh God, we need you. We can't make this life without you. So we solicit you to be with us this day and every day, oh God. Guide us as we go. These and all of the blessings we ask in the mighty name of Jesus. And in his holy name we do pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.
you bless me, Lord. You know I'll be satisfied anyway, anyway. You bless me, Lord. I'll be satisfied. Amen. Amen. You love the Lord. Say amen. Amen. God is so awesome. Kept us safe another week. Brought us into his presence. I heard the voice of Jesus say, Come unto me and rest. Lay down, thou weary one. Lay down thy head upon my breast. I came to Jesus as I was. I was weary, worn, and sad. I find in him a resting place. And he has made me glad. As we are called to worship this morning. If you are able and you don't mind it, would you please stand for the responsive reading as Reverend Vera Spears come before us. In the back of the new hymnal. It will be coming from 585, number 585. Carolyn. In your Bible, he'll be coming from Psalms 1. Five eighty-five. Your Bible, Psalms one. The upright man. It says, "Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of the sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful." But his delight is in the Lord. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Therefore, the, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous, all. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Thank Reverend Spears for leading our response to reading this morning. Good morning, church. Good morning. Oh, good morning, church. Amen. Morning. God has, amen, been so good to you and, and to me. Amen. We are yet alive, and the blood is still running warm in these old fever veins. Amen. Not, 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 not because we've been better than anybody else, but because of God's grace and his mercy. He has spared our lives once again. Yeah, let those golden moments roll on just a little while longer. Amen. We woke up this morning. Amen. As, as Mamie would say, we woke up this morning, saw the bright sunshine. Amen. We him glory, honor, praise, and all of the thanksgiving, for we still enjoy a reasonable portion of health and strength. Amen. And we're still clothed. Amen. Got the use and activities of, of our limbs. Amen. Hallelujah. Just, amen, because he's God. Not because of anything we've done, but because of who he is. And on top of all of that, after giving you, amen, new mercies this morning, he has brought each of us into his presence that we might worship in the beauty of holiness. Amen. Amen. We give him all the thanksgiving as we enter in for worship. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. To sister and brother clergy. Amen. To the deacons. Amen. Deaconess, visiting deacon and visiting deaconess to the ministers, wives, and widows, especially to my wife this morning. Thank the Lord for my wife. To this choir, amen, the musician, the drummer, the usher, but more importantly to you that occupy the pew. We thank the Lord, amen, for you choosing to worship with us on this morning. And it is our prayer that God would not waste your time. But that somehow, amen, through this worship experience, God will speak to you somehow. Yeah. Amen. In word or song or even in prayer. 
we pray that, amen, your time will be beneficial. So beneficial that when you leave the sanctuary, you will leave with a different spirit than when you enter. Amen. 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 So as we worship together, I pray that you're comfortable enough. Amen. Feel at home enough. As a matter of fact, we're going to ask for a welcome. Amen. To, to offer you. Amen. The invitation to relax and take part in the Holy Spirit Amen. as we continue to worship together. Amen. Will somebody from New Providence give us, amen, a welcome to all of our guests and visitors. Okay. Martise is coming with words of welcome. To our pastor, Dr. Brown. You may proceed. First Lady, Sister Brown. To our mother of the church, Mother Bateman. To our ministers Amen. and members of the clergy and everyone in their respective places, I stand before you to say good morning. Morning. Anytime New Providence Missionary Baptist Church doors are open, you're welcome to sing, to shout, to do whatever the Lord leads you to do. We welcome you all back, not just on Friends and Family Day, Amen. but on any day mm -hmm. that our church doors are open. Amen. Do we have any visitors, or do you all feel like y'all are family? Mm -hmm. Feel like you're family. All right, well, yeah. Pastor Brown, we got a congregation full of family. Amen. To God all right. Glory. If we do have any visitors that would like to stand and have a word, would you please stand? Amen. Anybody at all? We're happy to have you. Amen for just being here. Deacon Lewis. That's all right. Amen. Moses. Amen. The Lord sent a Joshua with you, so don't worry about it. Good morning. Amen. 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 On behalf of our pastor, Dr. Brown, and our first lady, Sister Brown, we welcome you all. Amen. Okay. Amen. Okay. Mm-hmm. Amen. We're delighted. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Thank you all for coming and joining us. Amen. 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 Thank you for coming. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Glory, hallelujah. Amen. 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 Glory, hallelujah. Anybody else? My Lord. All right, so I'm taking um, the rest of you all to be my guests. Welcome, Amen. welcome, welcome. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. <clears throat> Holy greetings. This is from Friendship Baptist Church, 1100 Story Road, Ashburn, Georgia. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Friendship Baptist Church family cordially invites your church family to our deacon and deaconess program. It will begin on Sunday, December the 3rd at 1115. We look forward to seeing you there. If you have any questions or concerns, you may call 
and they listed their number. Yours in Christ, Sister Michelle Bell, Friendship Baptist Church, Reverend Dr. Marvin Cuffey, Pastor, a family that prays together, stays together. Amen. So from all of us here at New Providence Baptist Church, from the smallest to the largest, from the front door to the back door. We welcome you once, we welcome you twice, we welcome you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Martrice, for, for the welcome. And to all of our visitors, we're delighted to have you. Amen. Thank you for coming to share as we celebrate family and friends day. Amen. We, we pray that you're comfortable enough to allow the Holy Spirit to have his way with you. Amen. 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 It's a beautiful, beautiful congregation, and we thank the Lord so much for each of you. Deacon Lewis uh, promised that he's not eloquent, but that's what the Lord did for Moses. He sent a Joshua away with you. Amen. And to God be the glory. We're so happy to have you. Anyone else, any member of Providence like to introduce somebody? Y'all come on in. Seats down front. Come on in. Amen. Sister Brian. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Usher, would you help me find seats for? Amen. There's some seats down down front, some even in Amen Corner. We're so happy to see everybody. As Sister Bryant was making the announcement, the second Sunday is our Spirit Day. Uh, we invite you back. Um, got a dynamic young speaker, Amen, who just happens to be, Amen, one of my nieces. Shakira Moa Ferguson, um, amen, so we invite you back for that. She's a dynamic young speaker, uh, so please come and share with us. Any other member of New Providence got family, friends, or kin folks you would like to present at this time? Anybody? Yes, sir. I have a couple of my brothers here. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. Amen. Amen. Look like brothers. Amen. Yes, ma'am. I invite some friends and neighbors and guests. It's also my brother. I ain't know he was going to stand. I didn't see him back there. I didn't either. Because... Please, my friends, neighbors, and guests, will you please stand? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Is that everybody? Amen. Amen. Hmm. Anybody else? Anybody else? Sister Bryant. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for just being part of our worship this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My wife and myself along with this church, we're delighted to have you. Amen. We're so blessed to have you as we worship together. Amen. Amen. The beauty of holiness. The Lord has been good to us, and even in the midst of being good, amen, every now and then, Satan dip in your business as well amen. as mine. Amen. God allow him the freedom sometimes, yeah. amen, to cause problem in our lives. Yeah. And when he allows Satan to cause problem in our lives, there is always an answer. And as, as Paul writes in, in the 10th chapter of 1 Corinthians, he will not allow you to be tempted, amen, beyond that you are able yes, to bear. Yes, 
We shout that and say, God won't put more on you than you can bear. Yeah. Amen. Except he will give you a way out. Amen. And the cause of Satan is, is on the loose. There's a thing called prayer. With Deacon Pierce, I ask Deacon Pierce to, pray, to, to, to prepare to take us to the throne of grace. If you're present and you need prayer, amen, or desire prayer, you can come to the altar or you can just stand right where you are. Amen. God is going to, amen, send those blessings, these petitions that we ask of him because we are asking, amen, not doubting, not wavering. Right. Amen. Would you please stand if you desire prayer? Deacon Pierce is going to come take us to the throne of grace. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. Heavenly Father, we come once again. Pray mildly, Deacon. Pray mildly. Yes, Lord, thank Lord. you, Lord, for your son, Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. Lord. Mm. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for bringing from mighty oh, long way, Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, Heavenly sir. Father, we don't know mm. how far, Lord, we're going to say from the beginning, Lord. Now, Lord. Heavenly Father, when you said, let that be, Lord, we was already there with you, Lord. Mm. We your people, Lord. I believe we was here before anybody else on earth, our ancestors, Lord. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for right now, Lord. You brought us through so much, Lord. Realize, Lord, whatever we have gone through, Lord, you are right there with us, Lord. Heavenly Father, whatever we are going to go through, Lord, you know you're going to be right there with us, Lord. Mm -hmm. We can't move without you, Lord. We just thank you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Lord, we pray, Lord, that your Holy Spirit, Lord, enter into this church, Lord. Please, sir. Please, sir. In the, each one of us, Lord. Lord, lead us and guide us, Lord, in the way that you would have right, us to go. All right, all right, yes, sir. Heavenly yes. Father, not just today, Lord, every day, mm -hmm. Lord. Heavenly Father, we mm -hmm. thank you, Lord. We just thank you so much, Lord. Lord, My we Lord. thank you for this church family, Lord. Glory, hallelujah. Dr. Brown, Lord, Sister Brown, Lord. Yes, Lord, we thank pray, you. Lord, thank that you. we continue to lead them and guide them, Lord, mm. in the way that you were having to go, Lord. Heavenly Father, not only them, Lord, but every member associated with this church, Lord. Every church open in your name, Lord. We pray, Lord, that we can't make it without you, Lord. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord. We can't thank you enough, Lord. Mm. Heavenly Father, we pray that you give us the wisdom and understanding, Lord. That, Lord, we, we're doing everything we can, Lord, but we realize we can't do nothing on our own, Lord, mm. without your Holy Spirit leading us, Lord. And lead us and guide us, Lord, in the way that you would have us to go, Lord. No, oh, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Lord yes, wherever sir. we go all over the world, mm. Lord. Come on, sir. Heavenly Father, you said if we go to hell, Lord, say so you'll be there too, Lord. Pray mildly, so brother. Pray mildly. Lord, you'll be there. So when you're too wide, Lord, we can't get around you, Lord. We can't go under you, Lord. We can't go over you, Lord. We got to go through the door, Lord, through your son, Jesus Christ, Lord. We realize, Lord, we you give him all the power, Lord, that you will be guide us and lead us, Lord. Heavenly Father, no matter what it is, Lord, we are going through a lot of stuff today, Lord, in this United States of America, Lord. Realizing, Lord, they want to just take everything away from the Lord. We ain't, we're just going to pray, Lord, that your will be done, Lord. If your will be done in this earth, Lord, then nothing would be nothing be wrong, Lord. Hey, Lord, we get no good trials and tribulation going to be, Lord. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord. If we didn't go through nothing, Lord, we wouldn't have learned nothing here in this earth, Lord. We got to go through some things, Lord, down here. And we just thank you, Lord. We realize it's your power, Lord, that's carrying us, Lord. We thank you for this day, Lord. Yeah. Family and friends day, Lord. Yeah. That we say what it is, Lord. But every day, Lord, is family and friends day, Lord. Every day is your day, Lord. Yeah. Every day is holy, Lord. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we pray that your will be done in our life, Lord. Yeah. Our family, Lord. All of us is family, Lord. Every, no matter where we come from, where we came from, Lord. You, right. We realize, Lord, that you is our father, Lord. Yeah. If you is our father, Lord, we are all the sisters and brothers in you, Lord. Heavenly Father, we just thank you once again in the mighty name of Jesus. In his name we do pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Deacon Peter. Wonderful, wonderful prayer. We needed that. Thank you, Deacon Peter. And now we can pray for, for, for offering. God has blessed us all week long. All year long, up until this present moment, brought up through Thanksgiving. But he always supplied our every need. And now it's time to give back to the Lord. We ask you right now, prepare yourself for the offering. 
Gracious. Deacon Tomlin. Our Father, who art in heaven, Lord, bless this offer. Bless the one who gave, and bless the one desired to give, and bless the one just in the habit to give. All you made a blessing that we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now we're getting ready for the word of God. We're going to have a choir. Choir going to give us a selection. And after that, you will have for no other than our own, the Reverend Dr. Marvin Brown. Prepare yourself. I feel like praising, praising him. Oh, I feel like praising, praising him. Praising me in the morning, praising him all day long. I feel like praising, praising him. I feel Yeah. 
Once again, we bow in humble submission at your footstool of mercy. Yes. We do so with thanksgiving in our hearts. Yes. Master, thanking you for all of the blessings that you showered down on us. Yes. Blessing that we didn't deserve nor had we even earned, but yet yes. you blessed us in spite of our shortcomings. Yes. For night after night, you, you provided us a place to lay down and sleep. And each night, Master, as we lay and slept, you, you dispatched an angel from heaven that, that watched over us all night long. Yeah. And then early in the morning, yeah. my grandmama would say that angel touched me with a divine finger of love. Yeah. My eyes beheld a brand new day, yeah. a day that I had not seen before. And we want to tell you thank you. Thank you for grace. 
and mercy. For it is by your grace and your mercy we are yet alive with the blood still running warm in our veins. Sometimes we are up and sometimes down. Lord, sometimes we are right and every now and then we are wrong, Master. So we bow before you, asking you for the forgiveness of sin. And Lord, as you forgive us of our sins, concentrate our hearts so that we are able to worship in the beauty of holiness. And then as we worship, Lord, let us be guided by your Holy Spirit. It is in your name we pray. And the people of God said, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory. In the 12th chapter of the Gospel according to St. Matthew, let me just acknowledge Reverend Robert Smith and, and his wife. Amen. He, he, you were hiding from me. Amen. Amen. Thank the Lord for you and for each of you that's present. Amen. Come on in and make yourself at home. Some, you can sit in the amen corner if you so desire, wherever you want to sit. Come on in. We're just, we're just happy to see you. Thank you for taking the time, amen, to share in this worship experience. Not going to be very long, but I pray that that is the word from the Lord amen. that will be beneficial in your life. So much so that when you leave the sanctuary, this word will take flight with you. In the 12th chapter of the Gospel according to St. Matthew, that chapter ends, amen, with the paragraph beginning at verse 46. We're going to read the very last paragraph in this 12th chapter of the Gospel according to Matthew, verse 46 through 50. Amen? We read those verses if it's the Lord will. Amen. Mm -hmm. Beginning at verse 46. While he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without, desiring to speak with him. Verse 47 says, Then one said unto him, Behold, Thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto him that told him, Who is my mother? And who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand toward the disciples and said, Behold my mother and my brethren. Verse 50. For whosoever shall do the will of my father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. Amen. You might be seated. Amen. Amen. That's how Matthew closes this 12th chapter of the gospel according to St. Matthew. Just in case you missed the text, it's Matthew 12, 46 through 50. From this text, from this text for a few minutes, I want to talk, amen, I'm just, I, amen, I, I want to talk from this subject, the family of Jesus. Amen. In reality, Matthew deals with, in this text, amen, and in this chapter, he deals with the biological or the earthly family of Jesus. Amen. Amen. In the days, in the days of Jesus' flesh, he was, and listen to this, he was very radical in his ministry. He was so radical in his ministry, his brothers, amen, didn't even believe in him. And because Jesus' teaching, he was offending the Jewish leaders. Yeah. Now, how many, how many know that, 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 I mean, if you're a child of God, and if you walk with God, yeah. in your conversation, somebody is going to be offended. Yeah. Amen. If you, uh, if you stick with, amen, 
If you stick with Jesus and your conversation is about Jesus, you're going to, amen, offend somebody. But, amen, but hang on in there. There's an answer. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they knew that the teaching that Jesus was done would, would offend, amen, the Jewish leaders. Because this, this, this is where we got hung up in Sunday school this morning. Amen. Amen. That, 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 that teaching, that Jesus, Jesus was doing the teaching. Amen. His teaching would, amen, offend the Jews. So Mary... And the brothers and sisters of Jesus said that we better go get this boy and bring him home. Amen. Because at the way he is carrying on, the way he is teaching, let's talk about Jesus now. The way he is teaching, amen, he is going to get in trouble with, amen, the Jewish, hallelujah, leaders. Y'all going to help me? Amen. He, he, he was radical, radical in his teaching. And, and, and Mary and his brethren had come to the conclusion that this boy had lost his mind. And because they had come to the conclusion that Jesus had lost his mind, amen, Lorenzo, they thought we better go get him uh -huh. and, and bring him home. Yeah. Amen. Before Amen. They either put him in jail or stone him to death. They knew, they knew, amen, he was, amen, getting in trouble with the Jewish leader because he did not respect, listen to this, he did not respect the Sabbath day. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Uh -huh. Radical, radical meaning, it, it, it's a term meaning, amen, to change anything relating to or affecting the fundamental nature of something. That's, that's what radical is. You, you, you get away from the norm. Yeah. And every child of God, every individual that's been born again, often in the word of God or in your daily life, you get away from the norm. Yeah. And, and here's what I mean. People expect you to act one way. But because of what's on the inside, amen, you, you don't act, amen, what, amen, street folk would call normal. As a matter of fact, they call us idiots because they will, they will, amen, put stumbling blocks in our way. Call us everything but a child of God. And rather than pulling out the sword and fight, you get in this little closet you got. Sometimes you go in there crying. Hallelujah. But you go in that little closet you got and you talk to Jesus. Yeah. Can I get a witness? And you, you, you don't tell him to wipe him out. Have mercy. You ask for your enemies. Blessings. Yeah. So, so they, 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 they knew that because, amen, the Jewish leaders were high up on the Sabbath day. Yeah. They had, they had these Sabbath day laws. And they had so many of them, they couldn't keep up with all of them. Can I get a witness? In this, in this, hallelujah, in this 12th chapter, 12th chapter began with Jesus being hungry. Uh -huh. Goes through the cornfield. Yeah. And because he was hungry and was in the midst of the cornfield, he pulled some corn yeah. on the Sabbath day. Uh -huh. Took that corn and husked it in his hand and ate it. And, and the Pharisees, amen, saw it and, and they said, Behold, the disi thy disciples, amen, do that which is not lawful on the Sabbath day. Can I get a witness? Yeah, yeah, this, it's, it's not lawful to work, to do any work. And they call Jesus pulling ears of corn, amen, and hussing that corn and, and eating that corn, amen. Uh, work, and they said he did not respect the Sabbath day. Jesus said to them, y'all y'all talk about me not respecting the Sabbath. I'm in the 12th chapter. Y'all remember what David did? Yeah. When, when, when David was hungry, yeah, he, he and the men that was with him went in the temple and ate the shoe bread, which was only lawful for, amen, the priesthood. And so y'all didn't say nothing about that, amen. Yeah. I'm, I'm, 
I'm almost at Halloween. My Lord. Oh, oh, have you heard about the priests? Amen. That goes in the temple and profane the Sabbath day. And nothing was said, but he said, he said to them, Amen. I'm greater than the temple. Y'all, y'all with me? I, 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 I'm greater than the temple. Mm, my Lord. I say unto you, Amen, that 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 I that speak with you is greater than the temple. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. He says to them concerning the Sabbath day in verse 8, for the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. Yeah. For the Sabbath was made for man and not man for the Sabbath. The, those religious leaders wanted to stone him. Uh -huh. Can I get a witness? They they made up their mind. They, they, they're getting together how we're going to get rid of this man. Yeah. Hallelujah. Don't respect the Sabbath day. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. He goes, leaving, goes to the synagogue. Let me get to the synagogue. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get you to my text. And the reason I, I, I want to lay out why Mary and, and, and Jesus' brother want to go get him. Amen. A amen. He goes to the synagogue. And when he gets to the synagogue, the, the, the lesson says, there's a man. And, and, and can I use church? Is that okay? There's a man in the congregation whose hand is withered. Uh -huh. And here are here these folks standing up in church looking to see if Jesus is going to heal this man on the Sabbath day. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Yeah. And, 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 and Jesus said, let me, let me ask you all a question. If you got a sheep, Amen. And he fall in the pit yeah. on the Sabbath day. Yeah. Will you leave him in the pit? Or will you get him out? Amen. Yeah. Can I talk to somebody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Folks look at you sometime when you're going through, but you're just waiting because you know after fire and by and by, Jesus is going to show up with your answer. Yeah. Can, I, can I do it? And, and, and if you walk with him, he might not say it, amen, like you think he ought to say it. But how many know that when you get your answer from Jesus, you are able to recognize that Jesus sent me home? Can, can, I, can I get a with me? So Jesus is in the synagogue. Glory, hallelujah. And, and the man's hand is with him. He says to the man, put your hand forward. Just, just hold it out. Can I, can I get a witness? Uh, have you low been heaven and you have to reach for Jesus? Yes. Have you been standing at the crossroads and, yes. and didn't know which way to go? You reach your hand out for Jesus? Yes. Can, can I talk to somebody? Yes. Uh, amen. Have your way been dark and you're reaching out to Jesus and saying, shine a light on my pathway? Yes. Jesus said to the man, reach out. I want to say to you this morning, whatever you're in, whatever you're going through, all you got to do is just reach out. How many know that if you reach out, Jesus is close enough, yeah. amen, to know that when you reach out, all you got to do is just, hallelujah, church, hallelujah. He heals, he heals the man. Amen. Can I get a witness? Yeah. And now, as the religious leaders are ready to stone him, yeah. they are making plans. Amen. To get rid of Jesus. Amen. How many know there's folks at your church Amen. been calling you a holy roller? Amen. And just because you stick with the Lord, Amen. they are making plans, amen, to get rid of you. Is God all right? Amen. But how many know there's a man that sets high? Amen. And that same man looks down low. Is God all right? Amen. So now they get to the synagogue yeah. where Jesus is teaching. Yeah. Hallelujah. And they stand at the door. Yeah. And they say to the usher, yeah. go tell Jesus, yeah. his mama and his brothers yeah. are out the door and they want to talk with him. Yeah. Is God all right? Yeah. I heard Jesus said in one place, yeah. if you're going to follow me, yeah. amen, you got to give up, amen, some kin folks. Yeah. But every yeah. once in a while, can folks are getting in your way. Is God all right? Yeah. Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah. They said to Jesus, Jesus, 
your mama and your brothers, amen, are out the door and they want to see you. Is God all right? Jesus kept right on teaching. Is God all right? Turned and said to the congregation, Who is my mother? Amen. And who are my brethren? Is the Lord all right? Oh, hallelujah. Stretched out his hands, amen, toward the congregation. And here's what he said to the congregation. Behold my mother and my brother. Hallelujah. For whosoever, amen, shall, amen, do the will of my Father, which is in heaven. The same is my mother and my sister and my brother. The same one, amen, belong to Jesus' family. Whose family do you belong to? Can I talk to somebody this morning? Do you belong, amen, to the royal family? Amen, where Peter said folks act peculiar sometimes. Amen, do you belong, amen, to that family, amen, that's called, amen, a royal priesthood? Do you belong to that family when folks hurt your feelings, you cry about it, and get on your knees and tell God to have mercy? Do you belong? To Jesus family, if you don't belong to the family of Jesus, let me tell you how to get there. Jesus, hallelujah. There was a man, hallelujah, in the luxurious forest of heaven. Glory, hallelujah. And while Adam had taken and given the way that which God had given to him, God said, I need to be reconciled to man, but in order to be reconciled, I got to find me a man, a man to go on the sinner's barn. Look high and look low. Couldn't find nobody. John said, I looked, amen, beneath the altar. And there was a lamb, looked back, who had been slain from the foundation of the world. I heard, her, said, make me a body, and I'm going down, and I'm going, amen, the game. All I want you to do is to know how, amen, to be part of the family of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Hallelujah. Born of a virgin Mary, the Son of Abraham, and the way of David. He is a bright in the morning star. He is a root in the offspring of David. He is my all in all. Do you know who he is? Do you belong to his family? See if you belong to his family. Every now and then, when you low get here, all you do is unto him. So Lord, have mercy on me. Do you belong to his family? You got to believe that he died on the cross. You got to believe that he laid in the grave. You got to believe it early on Sunday morning. He got out the grave. All power, all power, all power is in my hand. Do you belong to the royal family? Do you make up a man part of Jesus' family? Jesus said, I am the head of this family. Every family got to have a head in God all right. Can I talk about other families? The head of other family is in jail somewhere. Amen. Shayla got the head of our biological family locked up. And because the head is locked up, the rest of the family is here, there, and yonder. You got to turn. You got to turn to the bright and morning star. You got to turn to that lily of the valley. You got to turn to Mary, little baby. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Mary and Jesus' brother went to carry him home because they said this boy had lost his mind. Hallelujah. He thought it not robbery to pay your bond. He thought it not robbery, amen, to go and carry the money by in your place. Let the nail him to a cross, spit in his face. Hallelujah. Put a crown of thorn on his head. In God all right. That same Jesus. Hallelujah. You got to believe that he is who he says he is. You got to believe that he holds all power in his hand. All power. Holy Ghost power. Healing power. Do you belong to a family? If you belong to a family. Lord, hallelujah. I heard the song say, he's been walking with you. Hallelujah.
you to go through what you've been coming through. He's been walking with you. Mariah helped me sing that song where it said, Jesus, been with you every step of the way. Over every mountain, he walked with you. Around every stumbling block, he walked with you. When you went through the valley, he walked through the valley with you. He brought you step by step in God all right. Do you belong to his family? Do you belong to God's family? Yeah. Jesus, do you belong to his family? Yeah. Hallelujah. And all you belong to his family. Yeah. Well, hallelujah. You got to come back, amen, to see that God gave Abraham, not with an ish, one seed. Hallelujah. You got to get to know him. And once you get to know him, he'll work on your heart. Can I get a witness? He'll work on your heart so much that you'll fall out with the way you've been living and you'll cry out, I can't hold out no longer. His family is a peculiar family. His family is a family that assembled themselves together every Sunday morning. They sang amazing words. Talk about Jesus dying on the cross and laying in the grave and up early on Sunday morning. Do you belong to that family? Do you belong to that family? When you cry in the midnight hour, you wipe the tear away from your eye. Do you belong to that family? When you roll get a rough, you smooth out the rough place. Do you belong to that family? To the family of Jesus. If you belong to the family of Jesus, one of these days, hallelujah, time and probation going to wind up. Jesus going to meet you in your dying hour. You all the hands that serve a God well done. Rest from the love and ploy. The battle is fought and the victory won. End of our message. Whose family do you belong to? Whose family do you belong to? I heard somebody say, Jesus, hallelujah. Do you belong to Jesus' family? Not, not a man that biological family, but that spiritual family. You can't sing him, but you can feel him. Every once in a while, when your wagon done got loaded, and you can't hardly pull the wagon, he'll show up and light the load on your wagon. What do you do if you belong to a family? He'll help you pull that load on your load. When Satan puts stumbling blocks in your path, he'll show up and allow you to use the stumbling block for stepping stone. And every round, he'll take you a little higher. Do you belong to a family? You got to believe that he died on the cross in your place. But he wouldn't stay there. Three days, he got up with all power. Hallelujah. In his hand. If you believe that, if you believe that, you turn to him. You turn to him and repent of your sins with intent never to go back where God got you from. Not only must you believe, you must obey. You must obey in order to remain part of this family or in order to be part of this family. You must receive him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus was born of the Virgin Mary. And she and Joseph had these other children, which means they was they was half Jesus half brother. Can I tell you they was half brother because Amen, they didn't have the same daddy. If you got the same daddy, you have brothers. Amen. Hallelujah. That's okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen. We pray that you've already become part of his family. And if you've already become part of his family, sometimes when you go and get rough, you say to him, Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. Come on, church. Walk with me. Wow. 
family that he had on earth because his teaching was radical. Amen. He says that the Sabbath, amen, man was made for the Sabbath and not the Sabbath for man. As a matter of fact, he says, I'm the Lord of the Sabbath. And they didn't want to hear him. But then there is another family that you and I can belong to. Amen. It's called the church. Amen. I'm not talking about, amen, friendship or, or St. Paul or New Providence. Right. There's a church where, amen, Jesus is the head. Yes, sir. He, yes, sir. Had this, he had this family, amen, amen. And, and if you are in this family, yes. it means that you have been regenerated, yes. washed in the blood of the Lamb, yes. and born again. It's a spiritual family. Yes. But in this family, amen, we are all his children, his son and daughter. Thank you so much. We pray that you got a thought from, from the word just because, amen, just because somebody is radical. And, so, uh, and if you're a child of God, when you get out there in the world and you talk about Jesus, folk look at you as being radical. Because you're not talking about, amen, politics and the lawyers and, and, and what's going on, amen, with the lottery. They consider you to be radical, but you keep holding to God unchanging hand. Yes, sir. Prayerfully, he will show up. Thank you so much for being here. Any, any visitor or member have an announcement or remark you'd like to make at this time as we proceed to close? Anybody at all? I need to remind the providence of the second Saturday. What date is that, brother? Second Saturday morning at 10 o'clock. We're December, December 9th. We'll have, amen, a church conference. Saturday morning at 10 o'clock, amen. You ask us to put it in the morning because many of you have gotten, amen, like me, you're wearing glasses and it's hard to see sometime at night, amen. So Saturday, second Saturday morning in December, amen. If you're part of this church, we'd love to see you in our business meeting. Any other announcement, statement, or comments from anybody in the audience? Any visitors with announcement? And a visitor with an announcement, statement, or comment as we proceed to close. Brethren, anything else? 
Anybody in the choir? We're ready to go. Amen. May we please stand. Amen. Thank y'all for coming. We pray that God will bless you as you go from this. Amen. Thank you, well. Amen. Most holy and gracious Father, once again as we stand humbly at your footstool of mercy, we do so with thanksgiving in our heart. Lord, we thank you for your word and for the visitation of your Holy Spirit. Lord, I pray that this worship experience have not been wasted, but that you somehow have spoken to the heart of these, your people. So much so, Lord, that when they leave the sanctuary, they will leave with a different spirit than when they enter. Watch over us now, Lord. Keep us in your care. Guide us day by day and step by step. Lord, and when Satan get on our trail, we pray, Lord, that you keep that hedge up around us, cause Satan to stay on the outside. Lord, bless us now. Bless our going out and our coming in. Watch over our children and our children's children and hold them in the hollow of your mighty powerful hand. It is in Jesus' name that we do pray. Now to him who is able to keep you from falling and present the fallest before the presence of his glory. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forever. Let us all sing together. Amen. Amen. Amen.